What's up everybody, Ninth Jim here, back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. Today we're talking about Venusaur. This is one of the Kanto starters that we can play once again in VGC 2020. Very excited to, to playing this Pokemon. It has a really powerful hidden ability, Chlorophyll, that gives it double speed when Sunny Day is active. So pairing it with things like Whimsicott potentially to start Sunny Day, other Prankster users like Sableye using Sunny Day, or Torkoal to set Sunny Day on Switch in, or Ninetales for that same purpose. However, Torkoal is probably our prime use here. It's our main one that we're going to be looking at using with Venusaur. This is really powerful. We see Vileplume um, and Torkoal in today's age a little bit. A few years ago, we saw Lilligant Torkoal. They're all very similar ideas, with Vileplume and Lilligant Torkoal being the most comparative. Since they both have access to the Sleep Powder, they both have access to After You, um, and then the sa sa very similar stab moves. However, now we have Venusaur that has it outclasses its the Vileplume speed, but sacrifices After You. So it does. They're very similar, but they do have different things. After You on the Vileplume is a pretty sweet move. It just gives you prior, or it just uses, it just allows your Torico to go first, which is really good or very very fast. Um, and since Torkoal's Eruption plays off of its own HP, then this is really good to be able to go first because you can't get hit, and then you throw out your attack first, and it's really powerful. We saw Lilligan Torkoal being one of the best VGC combos in, 20, in VGC 2017, and now I'm looking forward to be, being able to play Venusaur with the Torkoal. If only it had After You, this would be insane. It's missing After You, but we still have Sleep Powder, we still have Giga Drain, Energy Ball, Sludge Bomb. It's a really good spread in general. And then you can even play this Pokemon kind of gimmicky with Leech Seed Toxic Synthesis. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get into it. So Grass Poison type gives us resistance two times, or uh, four times weak resistance to Grass, if I can talk. Um, and then regular resistance to Water, Electric, Fighting, and Fairy. All pretty solid, you know, it has a good bit of switch ins. Pretty solid natural bulk, not insane natural bulk, but it's pretty solid. And um, you can definitely lean into your bulk on this Pokemon. However, we're going into the speed and special attack just to make this Pokemon more threatening and viable under Chlorophyll. We just want him to, to hit hard and hit fast, and that's that's how we like Venusaur, baby. Um, anyway, then onto our weaknesses, we have Fire, Flying, and Psychic. Fire, Flying being the super relevant ones. You know, we, our two most used Pokemon right now is. Uh, Togekiss and Arcanine, you know, and then here soon we're getting Incineroar. Like, this Pokemon's threatened by a lot of things, I'll give it that. Um, however, you know, you can patch that up pretty well uh, with a couple of other things. So, yeah, that's what we're going with. Pretty solid. Um, into our stats, we have 80 HP, which is pretty good, 83 defense, and 100 special defense. So, pretty bulky overall. Uh, my chest is, like, bad today. I'm having a hard time breathing. I don't know what's up, but, uh... Yeah, so if I take deep breaths, no, that's why. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, pretty bulky overall, which is good. And then we also have 82 attack, which is like kind of over the top for a regular attack. We have things like Grass Knot that we can use, but um, that plays off more of like how heavy the opponent is, I think. Because um, it trips them up or something, I don't remember. Um, and then our special attack is 100, which is really solid. We're going to lean right into that with our... Chlorophyll being real fast, really strong, and we're going to be maxing into those uh, special attack and speed. Um, speed base 80, so you would think, uh, yeah, this Pokemon's kind of fast, but when you invest into it, it hits 132, and then um, and then it doubles. So it's, it really hits 264, which would be base like 150, one, like insane, absolutely absurd. Um, so yeah, pretty good stats, pretty, pretty great stats across the board. Um, we knew these starters were really powerful. All of them are good. I, I'm going to make a Blastoise video as well. Um, I don't know how soon, though. We'll see when... I don't know when I'll do it. You know, sometime. Um, anyway, so, Venusaur. Into the build. We'll get into the actual build now. Why are you still not talking about the build? It, uh, we're talking about it now. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, Ability Chlorophyll. I like this ability a lot. It just doubles your speed. It's really, really powerful. So, we're going with that. The other one's like overgrowth. It's like, get out of here. We, you, we can double our speed. Why would we take like an extra 0.25 times damage or something? Um, anyway, then our item, we're using black sludge. You could definitely opt for like life orb um, to get some extra damage. But it never seemed 
Probably Life Orb. Like, there's a good chance you should try Life Orb. Definitely try that out. Try Black Sludge. We have Life Orb on the singles build. However, I like... I, I think I might like Life Orb. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit more in Damage Calc. So, I'll see if it actually makes that difference. Um, however, Black Sludge for right now. Into our moves, we have Sleep Powder, Giga Drain, Energy Ball, Sludge Ball. Sludge Bomb. Uh, sleep Powder is a no-brainer in my head. I love that, being able to attack really fast with Sleep Powder. I know it's Sleep Powder, so we're going to miss a lot of the time, but it happens. And then we also have Giga Drain and Energy Ball. Two Grass Stab moves. We don't have Hidden pi Power anymore, so we can't Hidden Power Fire, which sucks. But it is what it is. You know, we'll take Giga Drain, Energy Ball. Energy Ball, just for, like, that standard good bit of damage. You can definitely replace this with Solar Beam. Um, and then Giga Drain for heal as well, which is really good. And then we also have Sludge Bomb, which is just a really powerful poison stab move that we should have on our, on our Pokemon. Um, so yeah. And then into our Flex stuff. So we have Synthesis Leech Seed Toxic. This is toxic. This is a really lame build. However, it's really cool. Um, it's lame if you're your oppo the opponent and don't have like a Fire or Flying or Psychic Pokemon. Because then you just lose. Like... You take very minimal damage. You you would probably invest into um, defenses like special defense and HP or, or physical defense and HP um, and go with those those moves. Synthesis, Leech Seed, Toxic. It would be very uh, powerful <laughs> and sometimes. So into our stats, we do have just 252 plus into special attack being Modest Nature and 252 into speed. We could go Timid Nature, but with our speed tiers, we don't. Re there's nothing really relevant in between that um, that nature buff that gives us a reason. We'd rather just get a little bit of extra damage with Modest, so that's what we're going with. And for our partner Pokemon, we have Torkoal slash Ninetales. You want to set Drought without having to use Sunny Day, or you want to use Sunny Day as priority so that you can get fast. So things like Whimsicott or Sableye, and then other Pokemon that really benefit, things like the Charizard. Potentially Leafeon for Chlorophyll, maybe even Vileplume, but then you're leaning really into uh, Poison Grass. Um, and then we also have Mimikyu, so like a self-reliant Trick Room Setter on this team is pretty good. We saw on like Lilligant, uh, Lilligant Torkoal, we saw like a Rangaroo or a Mimikyu. Now we can see like Mimikyu, maybe Chandelure. Uh, Chandelure could be really good as well because you can switch in on that Venusaur to... Uh, grab up a fire attack and then with sunny day active you can get an, an additional buff especially with, on top of flash fire you can get a lot of buffs actually you can stack a lot so chandelure is a pretty cool um teammate that you could it can also set trick room for torkoal which is cool um and then we also have rotom wash so rotom wash we just want to have like we already have grass and fire so having a wa another water pokemon would be good and we don't want it to only really do water stuff you could use gyarados as well since it has power whip and um, bounce. We're going with this because we can set up Will-O-Wisp. You can use Ally Switch slash uh, like Light Screen Reflect, and you can also use Thunderbolt, of course. So you don't want to use only a Water type, like something like Milotic, just because you you plan on having Sun Sunny Day active, and uh, Water gets debuffed under Sunny Day. So that's the reasoning behind that. Anyway, that's going to be it for our actual build. We're going to go ahead and jump into speed tiers here. So. Our speed tiers are good. So we're up here at 264. Um, this is with doubled, max uh, max invested but neutral nature and with chlorophyll active. So this is really good. 264 is really, really high up there. The only things that are outspeeding us frequently is going to be Hawlucha after Unburden is activated. And that's like way up there. Nothing's going to outspeed it except Barrasquita when Swift Swim is active. But our plan is to have Drought active always. So... Barrasquita shouldn't be outspeeding us because we should be able to set set that up first. Um, or or how we, we want that to be active, you know? Um, so yeah, that's pretty pretty good. Things that we outspeed is Scarf Hydreigon. This is awesome because it has like fire like flamethrower slash fire blast, um, which is really good. And then we also have Dar Galarian Darmanitan, which doesn't like a meat no, it it has flare blitz. <laughs> it has flare blitz. As Icicle Crash, this Pokemon does threaten us a lot. We outspeed it, which is good. We can sleep it. Um, we don't do a lot of damage to that, or the Hydreigon for that matter, but we can sleep them, which is good. And we outspeed. Um, then Form Change Rotom we outspeed. So like Rotom Wash, we can just knock out with, with a Giga Drain or a um, Energy Ball or something. And then 
Um, you know, like all the other ones, we just like either have to sleep or like chill, you know, like Rotom Cut can't really do much to us, but we can't really do much to it, you know, or no, actually we like have Sludge Bomb. So like most of the form change Rotoms, we have a really good matchup against, which is good. Um, next we have Seismitoad at 252, it's Swift Swim. Um, this is, goes for the same for Barracuda and the Ludicolo right under it. We want to just like have Sunday Day active, so these should be like way down anyway, but if it does set then they'll be outspeeding us because then we'll be down at 132 um, to their 250 so you know and then to put a little bit of perspective into why why this pokemon uh gets so much more speed than vileplume vileplume is down there at the bottom things like the hydreigon the galarian darmanitan form change rotom scarfed all those pokemon scarfed they outspeed us as vileplume but they don't outspeed us as venusaur uh venusaur which is very very good uh yeah so that's speed tiers we're gonna go on to our damage calcs now so damage calcs all right so for our first one we have energy ball from our venusaur into the milotic this is pretty good you know we do 57 to 69 percent so even after leftovers and potentially a leftovers recovery uh or leftovers recovery and then protect for another leftovers recovery we can still potentially get the two hit ko which is very good um and also their scald is doing zero damage because of sunny day not actually zero but resisted plus uh sunny day being active it does not do much damage <laughs> so that's good um and then for our next one we have uh sludge bomb into the rotom cut this is the most uh the most used spread for a rotom cut the 252 hp and then 60 special defense fairly bulky after citrus recovery we also hit two hit ko we can't hit the oko on this build exactly um which kind of sucks but if it's fast one if it's scarved or life orbed we can probably get the knockout um depending on the build that it is but if it's like more invested um away from the hp like if it's like mix invested into hp plus uh offenses we can potentially get an oko which is good um, the Arcanine, 44 special attack is the most common spread for Arcanine right now using the Flamethrower or Heat Wave, but Heat Wave will do less damage because of multi-targeting, um, but it'll do a little bit more damage if it doesn't multi-target, but Flamethrower into us does not get the Oko, which is really good, guaranteed 2 hit KO does 69 to 82%, which is very good for us. Dynamaxed, Gyarados, Max Airstream kills us, uh, 160 to 192%, this is, could definitely be a good um dynamax target so these could like you can imagine these as dynamax calcs we'll live the airstream we'll live the airstream from the togekiss and the air slash we'll live all of these things if we dynamax so keep that in mind as well you can dynamax this pokemon it's not a bad target for it um and then after that we have max airstream dynamax togekiss max special attack into our venusaur hits 134 to 150 158 percent this is pretty annoying uh with it being togekiss like it's one of the most it's the most used pokemon in the meta currently you'll see it on 80 percent of teams 75 percent of teams it's insane you see it everywhere not actually i think it i think the statistics 45 right uh yeah 45 percent of teams according to picolytics um however this doesn't get every single team that ever is played it doesn't go off ranked or anything you see togekiss a lot um, so having that as a big weakness is a very big weakness, but we do live uninvested if it's not for offense and it goes, um, for like more defense. It only has 12 special attack. This is the, another one of the most used spreads, 12 special attack into us only does 65 to 78%. So we do live that we live defensive Togekiss way more like a lot, like pretty well. Uh, if it Dynamaxes, it'll still do, like, enough to kill us. Like, one, I think it does, like, 111 to 130% or something like that. Um, yeah. So, that's all of our damage calcs. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into our single spotlight. So, this Pokemon is kind of interesting in, single spot, or in singles. It's used very, very similarly. Still a chlorophyll killer. Uh, chlor chlora killer. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to do there. Um, life Orb. Chlorophyll. Same spread, 252 plus into special attack, we're still modest, and 252 into speed. Very similar partners, very similar moveset. The only big difference is we're switching out Sleep Powder for growth. 
Um, this is so that we can get additional special attack when your opponent has to reposition. Um, and then we can take big knockouts on things we shouldn't be able to take big knockouts on um, with Sludge Bomb and Giga Drain and Solar Beam. You can switch out Solar Beam and you can switch out Growth if you want to. I kind of, I really like the idea of Growth on here, um, but you can switch it out if you want to. And yeah, and then our partners are the exact same, just the Torkoal or Ninetales, something that sets Drought. And then other things that benefit off of the Drought, things like the Leafeon for Chlorophyll, um other stuff <laughs> i don't know um a fire pokemon could be good too um although we do have the torkoal anyway that's gonna be it for this video it's it's a little bit shorter than our other ones so that's cool i want them to be shorter they're really long and nobody watches the whole thing <laughs> but if you're still here and you actually watch the whole thing thank you so much for watching the whole thing it means a lot to me and even if you didn't watch the whole thing and you just are listening to this it means a lot to me thank you so much for watching um I'm kind of sick right now, so I hope, I, but I feel like it's not too noticeable that I'm kind of sick right now. I'm hoping. Anyway, Venusaur, I like Venusaur a lot. It's really, really cool in VGCs and doubles. It's very similar to different strats that we've seen take over the game in multiple formats. Mostly, most most notable is Lilligan Torkoal. That was a really, really impressive combo. That was my favorite combo in 2017. That's the year that I started playing, um, and I used that a lot, and it was really fun. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyway, that is going to be actually it this time. So thank you so much for watching. Giveaway soon. I'm, I'm going to say it at the end of all of my videos to build some hype, and we're going to build and we're going to put out a real announcement one of these days pretty soon. We're growing. We're at 650, probably like around 7 or 800. I'm going to make the actual announcement, and then we're going to give the do the giveaway at a, at a K. I hope I'm not building too much hype because it's not crazy because I'm I'm broke, and uh, but yeah. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Blastoise coming soon. <coughs> Blastoise coming soon. And other stuff coming soon. Keep watching. S stay subscribed and like the videos. Thank you so much for watching. And goodbye.